hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing the crispy clown inspired look and i forgot to film an intro so yeah so for the eyes we're using the morphe 350 palette and to start out i had already primed my eyes with the jordana um eyelid primer and then i had already set it with just a cream color um, shadow and then she's just going in with a neutral crease color and then after that she goes in with like um like a darker brown tan color to start defining the crease and then after that she's going to go in with an even darker brown color to define it even more and then the reason why i have my eyeliner done already is because we had already practiced the look before that and we didn't like the way it came out because one of the cream colors that we used was kind of flaky so i had to just wipe it off and then we started over and we actually liked the way it looked after she was done and I'm also so sorry I don't remember what color she used. I wasn't really paying attention because we were just basically laughing the whole time. Like my niece, like when we're together, like we crack up the whole time. Like we have like such a good bond together. Like she's basically like my sister. <laughs> to cut the crease, she's just using the Maybelline Master Conceal in the color 30 Light Medium. For the lid shade, she's just um, using like a bronzy shade from the Morphe 350 palette. And she's also spraying it with the Mario Badescu rose water spray to make it, um, to make it pop a little bit more. And she's just touching up my eyeliner with the Aiko London liquid liner and then right here she's just adding a black eyeshadow um, to add more depth into the crease or into the cut crease and then um, she goes in and she blends it out so it doesn't look so harsh and then she adds some more the black shadow we were using um, wasn't as pigmented and I didn't really have another black eyeshadow so we had to just work with what we had so basically just work with whatever um, black eyeshadow you have and it will be fine you just gotta build it up and then as usual just to create your base um, I already had my face primed um, I used the NYX Hydra Touch primer and then I just added my foundation and she's um, concealing my under eyes. And um, I'll have everything listed down below about what I used. <laughs> and then to set my, my under eye and my face, we're just using the Cody Airspun in Translucent. Okay, so my little niece already did the tears and my nose off camera. And right here, she's adding the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil for the white part. Okay, and right here, she's doing the triangle parts above the eyebrows. It's It was kind of hard to do. You can see it in her face. <laughs> Right here, she's just cleaning um, the triangles up with the Maybelline Master Conceal and the color 30 Light Medium. And then once she's done, she's going to blend it out with um, my Beauty Sponge. Beauty Sponge? <laughs> so it doesn't look so harsh. 
for the circle on the chin, she's using um, the cap of a cream gel liner. And she's just tracing it so it could be a perfect circle. She thought about it and she's really smart. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. But yeah, and it came out, came out pretty good. So yeah. I apologize for my niece's frizzy hair always being in the way. But right here, she's just um, filling in the circle with the NYX jumbo pencil in the color Milk. And then she's setting it with a white eyeshadow. And then she's also setting it with um, the Cody Airspun setting powder. Um, just so it could stay white and um, it won't move. I'm sorry, I forgot. She's also adding the NYX jumbo pencil on the triangles on top. And she's going to set that as well. She's just using... Um, just a regular black eyeshadow to smoke out the bottom lash line, you know, to give it like the grungy kind of look. Right here, she's just creating the tear-like triangle with uh, a liquid eyeliner. And then with the same eyeliner, she's cre starting to create the lines from the nose all the way to the cheek. She's setting this under eye part with, um, as you can see, a white eyeshadow. Um, just because um, Crispy has a kind of white down there. It doesn't come out like we wanted it to, but I guess it's fine. And then right here, she started to do my lips. First, she's lining it with a burgundy um, lip liner, and then she used three different um, lipsticks to create the color that she wanted. Um, I'll have them listed below, and then after she was done filling them in, she went in with a black cream liner to... Um, make the mouthpiece like how you extend it and yeah um the lips didn't come out how we wanted to at this point we we're so freaking tired because we didn't know how it was gonna take how long it took so yeah we we're just exhausted but yeah i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you next time bye